So first things first, we need to start at the top with our navigation bar. So we go nav class equals nav bar nav bar default nav bar hyphen default sorry nav bar hyphen fixed hyphen top which means when we scroll down um, it will just stay at the top it's sticky nav bar fixed hyphen top and then close that off and close the nav tag and now we need to put everything into a container div class equals container and this basically means it will be nicely centered and it won't be and bits of the nav bar won't be off to the side of our um, of our browser. And now I need another div class equals nav bar header. Not deader. Mm -hmm. Typos are excellent. And we'll just make some space. And now we're going to put in our button. button type equals button class equals navbar hyphen toggle data hyphen toggle equals collapse data hyphen target equals hash nav collapse and close the button tag so basically what this means is when we're on a small screen you'll see this button and then we can press it and it will bring up bring up and down our menu So now span class equal icon hyphen bar. And then we can copy and paste this as many times as we want. It's just more bars. Over here. So here we've got four. We can do five, six. You could even you could do as many as you want, but I'm just going to do four. And then a, which is a link, a hyperlink tag, class equal nav bar hyphen brand href equal hash. You'll see we'll be doing lots of href equal hash and that basically means just take me to the top of the document or just stay where you currently are in the document. It's used when you don't actually when you just need a link somewhere for demonstration purposes. And then this will be what's in the top left hand corner my amazing blog. Let's go see what we've created so far. tutorial.html we've got our navbar up the top we have a container which keeps all our elements so they're not off to the side over here and then when we're, when we're on a smaller when we're on a smaller screen we even have this button which at the moment doesn't do anything but it will be doing some magic soon So now, after that closing div tag, we 
we add another div class equals collapse nav bar hyphen collapse id equal nav hyphen collapse and this id has to match up over here um, so if we call this nav collapse one then data target over here must be nav collapse one all right so in here ul so an unordered list class equals nav nav bar hyphen nav and close the ul tag and then li so list class equals drop down and now in our drop down a href equal hash class equal drop down hyphen toggle data hyphen toggle equal drop down and now close that tag about so you can call you can call it whatever you want if you don't want about you can call it contact me this is just an example definitely work with what I'm showing you and then B B class equal carrot um, apologies we need to close the a tag after the carrot or when you click on the carrot it won't work so now let's hop on over and see what we've got refresh and now we've got about at the moment doesn't do anything we've got about and a down arrow which is the carrot but soon it will start working and now another ul class equal drop down hyphen menu and then within here we want more list elements li and then a href equal wherever so hash and then this can be about us and then what else do we want when we drop down when we press about about us what about our story people like having those on websites these days our story and now let's check out what we've got so now you have an option to click about us or our story so if you wanted this to go to your website slash our story just change it to our story but at the moment we don't have those pages so it's irrelevant And then what if you want to put a nice dividing line? Then we can go li class equal divider divider. And then we can put more things under it. Why don't we have something that says contact us? So li a href equals whatever our contact us page we don't have one so just hash contact us now let's see what we've got now I've got the line because we used a divider and contact us this is looking pretty nice now 
we need to keep this as the same as that. If you're using ID, use a hash before it. If you're if you want to reference it by class, if you want to reference this element by class, then use a dot before the class. So now if we go to a small thing. Isn't this great? Drops down when you're on a small screen. So now we've done the navbar. We will pick up in the next tutorial where we'll go on to create the we'll go on to create this featured post area up the top and we'll do all these nice preview columns as well. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, please follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash nfaglin, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'd really like for you to let me know if you like this, what I can improve, and if you've got any other technical topics you think I might be able to cover. So tweet me or YouTube message me or just comment below. Thanks for watching.